This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the eHealth Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. There are more than 84 million dog households and 66 million cat owners in North America. Over the last year, as many of us stayed at home, we also took the opportunity to add to our families with four-legged friends. There has been a rise in pet ownership over the last year, and the pet care industry, as a result, has grown to nearly $100 billion dollars. As more people make pets a part of their lives, veterinarians, veterinary technicians, and urgent care hospitals have been rising to the challenge of increasing their practice size and taking on new patients. Many clinics are seeing record numbers with 50% more pets in their practices just in the last year. To help improve access to veterinary care and services, Vester stepped forward to help bridge the care gap for pet owners and veterinarians. Here today to tell us more about Vester and the pet telehealth medicine market is Vester's medical director, Dr. Sarah Michelle. Vester has helped improve access to veterinary care and services and has helped step forward to help bridge the care gap for pet owners and veterinarians of all types. And uh, certainly appreciate Dr. Michelle joining us here today on Health Radio. Well, thank you so very much for having me today, Eric. I'm thrilled to be here and um, excited to share more about what we're doing at Vetster and how we can help support pets across the nation improve and uh, increase their ability to access qualified veterinary care. Well, I'd say that's certainly great news for pet owners. Being one myself, I can really appreciate this. So for starters, tell us about Vetster and what is the platform and who actually uses it? Uh, Great question. So we are a uh, two-sided online marketplace. And uh, so we, our our clients are both veterinary professionals, uh, licensed registered veterinarians and registered credentialed veterinary technicians, as well as the pet only public. So veterinarians can um, sign up to to be a part of our provider platform. Um, And then uh, pet owners can peruse our website um, and search for licensed veterinary professionals in their geographical area and um, choose to book appointments, um, you know, at their discretion with veterinarians, um, you know, to meet with them on our platform through video enabled and chat enabled um, appointments to consult about their pets concerns directly with a licensed professional. Yeah, certainly appreciate that information. And this is certainly fantastic. Now, how does Vetster actually work? Get into some of the process there. Um, so it is a, you know, technically it's a it's a video enabled platform so that as a pet owner you create <clears throat> your own profile on our platform um, and you add your each of your pets to your profile. Uh, you then go into our our sort of veterinary search tool and you in can search on various factors. So um, first thing is where you're located because that's quite impactful for what the veterinary professional can support you with during an appointment. But you can also search for um, veterinarians by what species of pet they treat. So cats, birds, dogs, turtles, those sorts of things, horses, pigs. Um, And then you can also search uh, on the veterinarians by their own sort of areas of interest within those species. So whether, um, you know, you can, it's a very personalized one-on-one sort of experience for the pet owner. Uh, And throughout an appointment, so the the actual appointments once booked, um, you meet with the veterinarian for a 30 minute period. Um, generally, they are video conversations. You know, sometimes technical issues occur and there has to be a bit of chat, but it's a live synchronous connection with the veterinarian. Following the completion of an appointment, the veterinarian also fills out uh, a, a full medical record detailing what the conversation, uh, diagnosis, and prescription, depending upon um, the location, the geographical location that you're in, and that's designated by state, um, can also be a part of the experience for the pet owner. Now, Dr. Michelle, we've heard that many vet offices are closing across the country due to staffing issues. In your professional opinion, why is that, and does Vetster help close the gap in that particular situation? So thank you. Great question. Uh, It is 
you know, capacity issues for veterinary clinics have been a concern for, for some time. And unfortunately, the COVID pandemic really pushed a lot of uh, existing practices to be even further challenged with staffing issues. So there's a, an across the board um, supply of veterinarians and veterinary profession issues, uh, which is just limiting what traditional practices can see in a day. And that's one of the um, many sort of benefits of Vetster and virtual care. Uh, is so at our platform, the veterinarians uh, join our platform uh, and they can set their own schedule um, and their own rate for appointment fees. And they can help you know, outside of traditional bricks and mortar times, they can be there for pet owners. They can help support the veterinary clinics um, when they're at capacity. We have veterinarians and clinics that will often refer their patients that are appropriate for virtual care to our veterinarians on our platform. So it's, Vetster is supporting and improving access to care for the pet owner by being available on the hours when the pet owners need them. So we're not limited by traditional hours of operation. And we're also really opening up doors and avenues for the veterinary professionals. Traditionally, veterinary medicine was not one that could be practiced sort of from anywhere on your own schedule. And our platform is really opening up opportunity for variability in, in work and life balance schedules. And it's really being appreciated by our veterinarians. I certainly appreciate the input in that regard. Now, is Vester mainly for sick visits or should pet owners be getting periodic wellness checks for their pets? And how often should they be getting those periodic checks? Um, it's not, we are not just for sick visits at all. Uh, if there is anything that I'm so passionate about when we talk about access to care, it's it's improving that Google search. You know, no longer does a pet owner have to be their own decipherer when trying to review information when they Google it and doing the Dr. Google. That's the wonderful thing about Vetster is, you know, you can get a real live doctor answer to your Google search. And so although many of the appointments that our veterinarians see on Vetster are sort of urgent care or emergency type of questions and support. There's also a massive opportunity to support pet owners in providing, you know, optimal wellness care and preventative care for their pets without having to leave home, without having challenges of getting into a traditional clinic on any kind of, you know, cadence. As a pet owner myself, I think the best thing you can do uh, is talk to a veterinary professional at least twice a year, just for general wellness guidance. Pets age at a different speed and rate than than we do as humans, and so every six months is you know often there's transitions in life phases that are happening that's worthwhile getting credible, qualified advice on, rather than trying to sift through the information that you can find on a Google search. Well, I got to tell you, we're really excited and appreciative of what you have in place here through Vetster today. We're speaking with Dr. Sarah Michelle, Vetster's medical director that is helping improve access to veterinary care and services. And she's joined us here today on eHealth Radio's Animal Health Channel, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, can one see the same vet every time or will one be assigned to a different vet each on each visit or appointment? You absolutely can choose to see the same veterinarian every time. Um, we don't, it's not a dictated uh, process. It's under the pet owner's control. And so if, uh, and we actually encourage that just the same as your in-person veterinarian, you know, getting to know and establishing a relationship with an online veterinarian, uh, although it's not a in-person and touching, there's a, there's a lot of relationship building and, and trust and communication that can happen when you meet with the same person. So our platform is certainly enables pet owners and veterinarians to consistently connect together if that's their choice. Yeah, that is a huge bonus being able to see the same vet on each visit. Now, what is the primary differentiator between Vester and say other telehealth and vet medicine platforms out there in the space? Well, I think we, um, we are coming at this opportunity and in looking to support 
the veterinary community. We are not um, looking to come and take away uh, sort of business. We're really looking at how can we support both the pet owner and the veterinary community to our best ability. And I think that, um, you know, our focus is on providing whole health and communication and quality support. And I think that really sets us out very differently than to some of our competitors, you know, in embracing that human animal bond and pulling that veterinarian, as you already spoke to Eric, you know, this meeting with the same veterinarian each time. Um, I think that makes us really different. We're also the only platform that is a true marketplace where that relationship is, you know, at the discretion of the pet owner and the veterinarian to, to build together. Now, we've been going through a pandemic for over two years now. Now, with the pandemic being an ongoing concern, do you see the future of pet health care being telemedicine, or is there ever a time to go in and see a vet? Get into some of that uh, from your perspective. I, a great question. I think that um, telemedicine is not – we are not looking to replace in-clinic care as I said earlier, we're looking to complement and work with. And I think as we continue to evolve as a society through pandemics or not, um, you know, we are fully entrenched in being a digitized society. And I think that the evolution of virtual care to complement in-person care is something that's here to stay. And I think moving forward as a pet owner, I think it's realistic to expect that you will have, you will have veterinary client relationships you will have a relationship with your in-person veterinarian you will have a relationship with your you'll have your telehealth televet veterinarian um, and i think that they will work together to support the best possible care and outcome for your pet long term one last question for you dr michelle can vesters prescribe prescriptions for pets uh, another wonderful uh, question, and the answer to that is yes, where jurisdictions permit. So uh, it varies dramatically from state to state. It's not a universal conversation. Um, so each state has its own veterinary regulatory board, and uh, depending upon the state that the veterinarian and the pet owner are in, so the veterinarian the state that the veterinarian is licensed in and the state in which the pet owner is living in, our platform marries those two together as best possible. And in several states in the U.S., uh, regulations have now evolved such that the pet owner or the veterinarian is permitted at their discretion to prescribe if they feel it's appropriate. Um, and right within our platform, that prescription can be fulfilled and shipped directly to the pet owner's home. But it does depend, as I said, on where you're located. It is a rapidly evolving, head-spinning conversation, um, states that are coming and going. Um, but Long term, you know, we're quite confident that this will um, eventually be something more homogeneous across all of the states. Again, this is a fabulous platform and really do appreciate all that you're doing on behalf of Vester once again and for introducing it to our audience. If you would tell listeners where they can find you online and uh, take advantage of the great service that you offer. It's very easy. It's just vetster.com. Uh, it's quite simple and straightforward. should take you just a few minutes to create your pet owner's account. You can upload wonderful pictures of your pets. We love to see those. Uh, and then you can get on and search for available veterinarians almost instantly. Uh, so it's vetster.com. You got to love it again, folks. It is vetster.com, and we'll include that link within the show notes of this broadcast. Dr. Michelle, all the best, and thanks for joining us here today on Health Radio. Thank you very much for having me, Eric. And it certainly was our pleasure. Anytime, we've been speaking with Dr. Sarah Michelle Vetster's medical director that is helping improve access to veterinary care and services. And for further details, visit vetster.com. Dot com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the Yelth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.